Tonight we had our STEM night. We um, started six years ago. We just mm -hmm. bumped into each other. We're both um, graduates of Durban Public Schools. I was with my elementary students. And I have my college students who are going to be teachers. And she had just had training on this program called Family Engineering. And as we chatted, we thought, why not do something together? I bring my students here because I want them to see like how exciting science is for elementary children, that they love to make things, they love to create, uh, they love to do experiments. From the elementary point of view, when they see college students, adult volunteers, and engineers come to the event, they get inspired to want to try to be more creative and learn from them about what they can do when they grow up. My favorite part about STEM night is learning like about more science things. And Some people think that science is boring, but actually, uh, when you come to STEM night, science is really fun. Not only do they learn from the volunteers here, but we have our own students volunteering at different centers to teach others. So they're inspired to become leaders in their school and in their community. Just to see how involved the families are, how excited the mom and dad, the big brothers, the little sisters, the, all the members of the family that come out um, kind of inspire my students. They talk about how adorable the children are. They talk about how excited the children are and um, they love watching them create things. The top favorite part about it, designing it, obviously, was my big mind. It, it was my big mind. But I'm really good at building stuff. I designed it to hold structures. We from wind resistance. I think it's 27, 20, 25 to 27 floors high. It took, it took a lot of effort, but it was worth it. If you think about um, just um, science in general, there's always patterns. And in the art field, there's patterns. In math, there's patterns. So it all flows through. As a true engineer, you don't do anything in isolation. And art is kind of one of the forgotten parts. But if you think of anything that is made today, there's always an aesthetic or an art um, mm -hmm. component to it. Every center here had um, part of the arts because engineering is not in isolation, which is why we changed from STEM and then to STEAM because you have to bring in the science and the tools for the technology and the um, math. And arts just fits nicely into that, mm -hmm. into that mm -hmm. niche. It's yeah. something that you can't leave out. Who wants to buy a car that runs really great but doesn't look aesthetically pleasing? Do you like to make? Do you like to create? One, two, three, four, five steps to engineer. Do you like to plan? Do you like to draw? When you start to engineer, you'll see it all. I would like to give a shout out to Ford Motor Company because um, many of the centers were sponsored um, by materials that they donated to a Ford STEAM grant that was at three of our schools in Dearborn. Henry Ford, Whitmer Bowles, and William Ford. Ford Motor Company helped us purchase STEAM materials to be able to um, integrate STEAM programs into our school. And we're, since we're piloting at three schools, our hope is that in the future, that STEAM will travel to all of the schools in Dearborn because that is really part of the um, 21st century where our jobs are going and where our education system is going. I'm old school and when I see kids playing with virtual Play-Doh, it just kind of makes me so sad because kids just love having materials in their hands and actually creating and making things and they're just natural born makers and inventors and um, for kids to have a chance to, to make things and invent things and create things is kind of like what makes me happy. I think creativity is the foundation of STEAM and it's really what excites the children to want to learn yes. and try new things and do something outside their comfort zone.